How good does that Ferrari sound, by the way? Every time I use that car, I think that's just got to be the intro for every single video that it's a part of. But welcome, guys, to the first ever F1 2017 online video. I thought that it was time for a bit of a change up in terms of the videos. I thought I'd do some online, uh, seeing as it's the day before release. There might be the odd chance that some of you guys might have the game. So I put it out to Twitter, and uh, thankfully enough, a lot of you guys did respond. Uh, not many people had the game though, so uh, we're only able to get an 11 man lobby, but away we go for the first F1 2017 online race on my channel around Suzuka. Let's see what we can do. We're in the Mercedes as well, starting from the back. So uh, yeah, we're going to see potentially a lot of overtakes in this lobby. A little bit of lag. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. One of the Williams got spun out. I'm not too sure if the servers are completely optimized at this point. Like I said, not many too, not many people have uh, jumped on the game as of yet, so um, yeah, we'll see how we go. P7 at the moment, it's been a nice and uh, clean start from our end. We've got a Ferrari up ahead, so hopefully we can take him coming into the second lap, possibly. The, I've got to say, like initially the handling of these 2017 cars are just outstanding. The amount of speed you can carry into high-speed corners is just outrageous. That Ferrari has uh, completely blown up Kevin Magnussen who has, uh, yeah, resulted in me losing my front wing. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, not a great start to the lobby. That Ferrari driver seems to be a little bit all over the place as he blocks me and also the Williams driver. So, already, we have ourselves one of those people. I'm not gonna... Oh, come on, man. You know, just one of those F1 online noobs. You're gonna encounter these guys a lot, so... Um, I guess we just better get used to it. Why? Why? Okay, they push me off the track. I think you have to leave the space. All the time you have to leave the space. Okay? Listen to Fernando Alonso. He knows what he's doing. All the time you have to leave a space. And that even goes for online lobbies, um, even in sprint mode. But either way, going through turn one. What is he doing? Like... Was he was he coming to a standstill at turn one? Did he know that was a high speed corner or not? But uh, uh, we just got to get around him. He's just uh, you know one of those guys that you just don't want to race with in an online lobby. You just want to get rid of him. The kind that's just slow as hell, blocks you at every opportunity, and if he sees you go for the overtake, swipes you out. So we're gonna have to force the overtake or even wait for a mistake we go for a move up into the second Degna there nothing quite doing there we might actually lunge him into the hairpin because he deserves nothing less than a bit of a lunge and uh, I'm not even sorry I'm just not when you uh, try and swipe out people multiple times I think that's a bit of justice uh, deserved there but we'll carry on uh, P5 I wouldn't normally pull that kind of move on a random person, but considering the way that they were driving, I feel I feel like it was a bit necessary. But uh, either way, we're going to carry on. Lap three now. Uh, the guy up ahead is actually Pascal Vela, and we had like three AI cars in. I thought I'd chuck in a few just so that you know we had more people to race, and so there was a bit of ben uh, benchmark for other people to uh, uh, you know reach the standard of. So uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty interesting. I think both the AI cars that were in front of me. Kind of denied me of a, of a podium finish, but there we go. That is our first race on F1 2017, and it's a, a, a fairly, I don't know, average P5. I mean, I'll take it. We had a pretty crap start to the race, and uh, the uh, AI cars after the Grand Prix were having a bit of a kerfuffle in the first sector there. But uh, yeah, not too bad. I think I had front wing damage as well, which uh, hampered my pace ever so slightly. But we're going to move on now to the very next race, and uh, we're going to try out... A short layout circuit. I actually thought I did Japan short for that last race, but it turns out I did the full circuit. But we're going to go to Bahrain and we're going to jump on the short circuit and uh, we're going to see if we can troll a few people as well. Just see if they realize that it's a short layout and whether they just go straight on or uh, whether they actually pay attention and actually um, remember to cut in. Um, after the second turn, I believe it is. But here we go, ready? Five red lights, and away we go for the Bahrain Grand Prix. An okay start, it must be said. We actually lost the position to the guy next to us. We'll see what happens into turn one. I'm not going to be diving anyone. 
I was actually planning to take it very cautiously because I wanted to watch the carnage that would ensue uh, when we got to the short layout bit. And here we go. Everyone actually took it really, really well. No one actually went off. They actually all realized that it was the short layout. That was actually very, very surprising how clean that, that second corner was, which is uh, very, very surprising. The final corner, though, not so clean. The Toro Rosso um, goes absolutely wide. And actually follow me out there. Uh, losing the back end like crazy. But we got these three guys to chase down now. I'll see if I can get involved in this battle if I can. My teammate is in the pits. Oh, I think it's Kevin Magnuson. But I don't know why he's in the pits. Must be changing a front wing. Possibly a drive through as well. But either way, uh, the two leaders are squabbling quite a bit. He's been cut uh, up at the in cut up the inside, has he? He uh, cut the track a little bit as he made contact with one of the leaders. And... Uh, completely lost that position. Speaking of lost position, that's another one for the Toro Rosso that is gone and that's us up into P2. So everyone in front of us just seems to be bottling it. The guy in front who is uh, uh, Testa Rossa looks like he's a little bit bored. He's driving off the track. He's weaving a little bit. He thinks he's got this race win in the bag. But little does he know, I'm trying my absolute hardest to chase him down. We've got rich revs. We're not going to run out of fuel. So we're just going to absolutely blaze it on this final lap. Really late on the brakes. And he has a, a pretty mild lockup there in its own one as well. So we're going to try and put him under pressure if we can through the right-hander. He's actually lost the back end. And he's completely bottled that race win. And he's actually taken out the Toro Rosso in the process. Wow. What a way to... Uh, uh, lose the race win in uh, very dramatic circumstances. We're going to come across the line and win our first race on F1 2017. Very lucky, it must be said. But, uh, hey, I'll take it. There are many, many races online where I, the luck is not going to be on my side. Um, it doesn't matter how fast you are. You've just got to keep yourself clean and uh, keep away from the incidents which uh, we managed to do there. So pretty happy with that. We're going to go off and do something else now. I wanted to have a look at the uh, public matchmaking to see if there were more uh, people online. Um, so we'll see how this goes. This is supposed to be like the, the replacement for the old, uh, you know, sprint mode lobbies. If you remember back to like F1 2010 to like 2014. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. This is actually where a new feature of F1 2017 lies. So basically um, you have like a ranking system and a milestones kind of system as well. So you get like uh, like progression or XP um, based on how many race wins you get, how many podiums. As you can see there, everything there. And uh, I think, I can't remember what the rank goes up to. It might be 50, but if you go to rank 50 and then you want to progress further that you can like prestige to like the second star or something like that. I can't remember if that's still a, a feature or not, but uh, yeah, that was something that the Codemasters team were talking about in pre-alpha testing, and I was like eagerly awaiting for that news to uh, be broken into the public. And I actually don't think they revealed anything multiplayer-wise, apart from, you know, two spectator spot, uh, so spots uh, being available to use. So I was actually really, really dumbfounded as to why they didn't talk about this uh, milestones feature or the even stats in the uh, public matchmaking feature. So, yeah, uh, that was our first race done. We only had one person to race against and um, the, the conditions were really, really tricky. So I just drove really cautiously and got myself through to the finish while enjoying getting that Ferrari a little bit sideways. But that's the milestone progression. Um, there's lots of different facets there and uh, it goes up to 10 levels or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how it uh, fully works at this stage, but you can use all those milestones as, uh, I don't know, just means to compare with other players, and I think it's really cool to just have something that keeps you playing the game for longer, and just gives you, I don't know, something to, I don't know, show to other players that, hey, I'm a pretty good player, and I've won X amount of races, my average finishing position is uh, blah blah blah, and uh, yeah, I just think it's really cool, it's something that I've been calling for for such a long time, um, you know, in F1 20, you know, insert number here, um, you know, discussion videos, just wanting, like, uh, you know, new stats feature, wanting, like, prestiges, wanting uh, customization for online. This is the first step that I hope will uh, build upon uh, for future F1 games, where online is the main focus. Like, I, you know, career mode is all well and good, but I feel like online is where um, 
the game needs the majority of its love. That's where the loyal players are going to be sticking with the game week in and week out, and this is just uh, hopefully the start of many more features to come when it comes to uh, the online spectrum of racing. But uh, there we go. That's another race um, in the you know public lobby matchmaking system. But uh, yeah, pretty easy race. I think the one of the guys die bombed me at turn one and then basically lost the back end and uh, took out the rest of the field. So I had a pretty cruisy uh, race to the end there as well. So in terms of the public matchmaking, my record looks pretty good at the moment. But of course, uh, when you guys jump on tomorrow, the next day, and we all have some races in this. Um, that statistics consistency is not going to hold up, is it? But that's been this video for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Just a quick one on online. I'm going to be doing more lobbies tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that. So if you want to get involved in some of the online races with me, follow me on Twitter and I'll announce when I'm exactly going to go online. And if you want to follow me on Xbox, you know, uh, PlayStation and Steam, I think my username is just TM at Marduk if you want to add me on there and see when I go online as well. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 2017 videos. Like I said, plenty more online stuff to come over the course of the weekend. And uh, hopefully we can get some races in and have a lot of fun. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time.